hi guys today we'll learn some of general shortcut keys in tally alt plus 2 creation of duplicate entry alt plus a to push another entry while we are at report screen alt plus c to create masters in voucher screen suppose we forgot to create a master alt plus d it will use for to delete voucher or master master note if that particular ledger having balance we cannot delete so if that particular ledger having balance already posted some of entries we cannot delete it so we have to clear first entries and we can able to delete the particular voucher or master alt plus e to export the report alt plus e to export the report alt plus i insert a voucher insert a voucher example if we are in specific ledger report so we don't want to go back we can directly post any vouchers using alt plus i alt plus n to view auto repeat columns example go to p and l account or balance sheet and you shortcut key you will get options alt plus p to give any printout from tally so you can use this alt plus p alt plus r hide a line in a report for example now we are seeing all the uh, report all the vouchers for particular ledger in that if you want to hide some of line items you can hide using alt plus r alt plus u bring back hide line in, in report so if you want to hide we can use alt plus r the same if you want to see you can use alt plus u alt plus x using this will cancel voucher in any report so using alt plus x using this will cancel voucher in any report control plus a this key contains acceptance while posting entries or creation master will use this it's nothing but save you don't want to enter press enter 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 to save the entry you just directly use control plus a or it will automatically save control plus alt plus b to verify statutory details we can directly use this to verify statutory details alt plus i to post entry in voucher report voucher report entry in voucher report example go to day book or any voucher report and use this key to post other entry okay you need not to come back again tally first screen and you have to go accounting voucher this is not necessary to while we are in report we directly use this transaction key uh, shortcut key and we can post this entry control plus q it helps to come back step by step example we are in debug we want to come tally screen it will come set up by step by step so if you <coughs> click control plus use control plus q you, you directly go to tally first screen control plus alt plus r to re rewrite data for a company alt plus h through this will get help to configure of tally and other info through this will get help to configure tally under the other info alt plus f2 to change period from where you want to see the report so accordingly we have to change the period control plus m using this will get tally normal screen after using 
control n okay this is for calculation purpose we can use this so we'll get calculator under tally screen so using this we'll get tally normal screen after using control n control n using this we'll do calculation below tally so so if we don't want if you want to do calculation use control plus n so if you want to come back normal use control plus m alt plus r using this will copy previous ledger previous ledger narration for example last entry you posted telephone expense you need not to type again all these things you just use the alt plus r that same uh, narration will copy and control plus r using this will copy previous ledger the same thing control plus t to post post dated entry post dated example go to watch screen and post post dated entry it's nothing but if will receive any pdc or if we issue any pdc post dated checks or post dated anything we can directly now for example today is 2nd of april 2014 if you want to post entry 20 20th april 2014 we can use this post dated entry alt plus d delete any voucher from any report like from day book alt plus o to upload the report to the web alt plus m to email alt plus f to close unwanted entry to post the entries alt plus f3 go to gateway of tally screen and use this key to modify if you want to change any every company details so if you want to change sometimes while creating company so maybe address will differ so that time we'll use this key and we can edit the our company details and contact details and all alt plus f5 go to sales purchase ledger report and use this key to view quarterly report if you want to see sales or purchases quarter wise you just go to sales ledger or purchase ledger you just see all plus f5 you'll get for example see tally go to p and l account and sales here sales are there you just here monthly is there you just click on monthly and quarterly here you will get april to june how much and july to september how much and october to december jan to march so you need not to go like this you just go to sales and here sales you just directly quarterly five you'll get it and uh, alt plus f12 go to any report like day book and use this key to filter screen whether the range of information can be specified or not alt plus z to zoom you just create here alt plus z here we'll see i'll i'll show you alt plus z to zoom okay and uh, here it's some of you you can directly get quite and uh, remove line this you, if you see here in tally only we'll get it lot of options and uh, control plus alt plus c copy the narration or text from tally and paste wherever in tally or out of tally see for example from out of narration for example a narration excel sheet the same thing we can copy through using this 
control plus alt plus v to paste the same text what we copied from outside of tally that we can paste directly in tally shift plus enter to keep the cursor on particular ledger apply the key to view the details and edit it for example we created say sales sales ledger you just keep cursor on that and you press shift plus enter that will get screen so here will modify so if you want change under see for example ledger sales you just keep cursor here you just fresh shift enter sorry control enter control enter you will get here whatever you want you can change here this is the direct shortcut key okay and this one and f2 to change the date f4 we'll use this for to post bank to bank transaction or cash deposit cash visa and help us to view watch or type wise details go to any report like debit card and press f4 okay to post payment voucher f5 will use this on this for reconciliation purpose as well go to ledger and press f5 if you want to for example go to the bank go to bank sdfc bank just press f5 here we have to activate reconciliation then only it will works to activate reconciliation go to f2 all f11 sorry f11 features <coughs> 